This is where the fun begins. I was expecting them to be on the other side ready to fight me, so I had everything ready. I had my sword out, I had my bucket in my second slot, I had my crossbow loaded. I was ready to battle. I don't know what I was expecting, but the one thing I wasn't expecting was for me to get lavaed as soon as I got through the portal. Here, 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 here. So Bad Boy Halo placed to block off the lava. I thought I had a lava bucket, so I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to go in my inventory, grab my lava bucket, and then pour it on them, because I thought that would be totally awesome. But when I was in my inventory, for just like literally one-tenth of a second, Bad Boy Halo picked up my water, so I had no water, and then I realized I have no lava, so my plan wouldn't even work in the first place. So I looked up to fight, and then I looked down, because I wanted to see where there was water to jump into, but I didn't see any water. I got knocked off. And my immediate gut reaction was fall in the water. So my cursor moves and I look straight down at the water. But I realized very quickly that I was falling too fast and that if you know how Minecraft parkour works or how Minecraft water parkour works, that if you fall from a far enough height, you will just fall straight through the water. And I remember thinking right away that I have pearls, but pearls don't fall faster than you. So if I was to throw a pearl, I would probably die unless I threw a pearl onto like a tree or onto the tower or something. But also I want two and a half hearts. So a pearl probably would have killed me. So I noticed the horse. I went to reposition for the horse and there was actually another horse that I didn't notice because it was below the water and I couldn't see it and it was a closer horse that I probably would have had an easier time getting to I, I repositioned where I was looking to right above the horse and you can't ride an untamed horse unless you don't have anything in your hand and the only reason that I remembered this the only reason that I remembered this tidbit of information is because I was testing the striders like just before this recording on a single player world I was testing how to jump onto a strider because I thought I might have to jump onto a strider I'll just drop what I'm holding in my hand because I have to have an empty hand in order to jump on the horse. So I drop the sword in my hand and then you hear me take like a deep breath. <laughs> like nobody really pointed this out, but if you listen closely to the audio, you will hear me take a deep breath as I'm falling. Because I just like I drop my sword and I just go <laughs> like I just realized like this could either be like the most epic play in, in history or this could be the most the dumbest play ever and I just die and I, I look like an idiot. Now the horse is getting there in the first place is even crazier. There was more than thirty minutes where the three hunters were around the tower moving around collecting things and then waiting for me, moving in and out of chunks. So horses had plenty of opportunities to spawn. And there was also a village right there that I had seen horses by, but I'm not sure if they were the same ones. But on top of the horses below the tower, there was at least three in the nearby area that I saw. So the spawning luck was just really good.